Hello, everybody. This is David Ko, and welcome to the CCHL BC Lower Mainland Social Media Training Session on May 2nd, 2013. Susan, Patrick, and I have created several videos on how you can connect with our CCHL BCLM chapters social media websites. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that on Twitter. So, the first step is go to your internet browser and type in twitter.com. And very quickly, you'll be prompted to the sign in page. So, if you already have an account, uh, you can go ahead and sign in using your email and your password. If you do not have an account yet, uh, you can sign one up right below or right here and click sign up for Twitter and you'll be prompted to the next page for further instructions. If you need any help or assistance with doing so, please do not hesitate to contact myself, Susan or Patrick. So in my case, I have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And immediately you're going to be, uh, you're going to be seeing this, or your, your your own page, and it looks quite messy, but it's actually quite simple to use, and I'd say it's easier to use than Facebook. So, just an explanation or a brief description of what's going on here. On the right panel, you'll see here a lot of tweets. In other words, a lot of messages. And the reason I get all these messages is, is I'm following these people. I'm following Andrea Wu, Charity Village, BD Bell Sciences, and on and on and on. Um, since I'm following them, any tweets that they sent out, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna appear on my page as well. And on the left panel here, up top, you can see that there's my name. So if you click onto it, you will be prompted to your own page. With tweets that you've sent out as well as um, uh, tweets of the people who you're following. So let me go back. And below my name, you can see that there's nine tweets. So what that means is, uh, to date, I have sent out nine tweets total. And I am following 27 people, or 27 Twitter pages. And there are 12 people who are following me. And again, if I click into it, I can see all the people I'm following, or the people who are following me. And then below that, there's a compose your tweet box. So here you can compose your tweet. You can write messages. Uh, for example, I'm creating um, the, uh, a training video for CCHL, PC, LM. So I can hit tweet, but you have to. But once I've done that, my tweet will go public on my page, and as well as my followers page. So you have to be really careful of what you type in there. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'll do that. I'll do that later. And right below it, you're gonna see another panel. that says who to follow. So Twitter is very smart that based on your own profile and your activities, it will make suggestions of who you might want to or who they think you should follow. Um, so they think that I should follow Webers, um, I should follow EHL, and if I, if I hit view all, I will be prompted to a page where it says who to follow. So I can see all these people that um, Twitter suggests that I follow. 
I highly recommend that you only follow the people you know and avoid just randomly following anyone because as I said before um, the tweets of the people you're following will show up on your page as well so you don't want any inappropriate tweets um, on your own page and if you look up top here there's another panel and there's home there's at there's pound there's me a search bar and then your uh, personal setting um, option and then another place for you to send tweets this box is exactly the same as this box right here so in this video I'm gonna sh show you several um, functionality of Twitter that are most applicable and appropriate to to um, our CCHL members and executive members as well uh, so the number one thing we would like to ask you to do is to come up to this search bar and search and follow our chapters Twitter page so to do that it's just like any search engine you just type in the name of the organization or of the person and as you can see I didn't even finish typing the whole phrase uh, Twitter came back with several hits that contains uh, the phrase CCHL so there's national chapters page there's the Toronto chapters page and on and on so please click on to CCHL BCLM and as, as you can see we are now prompted to um, the Twitter page of CCHL BC Lower Mainland and you can see there's a short description of what this organization is how many tweets it has sent out to date uh, how many people are following this page and who is uh, CCHL BC Lower Mainland following and as well the tweets that CCHL BC Lower Mainland has sent out and the tweets of its followers so as you can see we can see uh, as, as you can see there's pause um, tweets and tweets of uh, BC Healthcare Awards so now that we have found this page we would like to ask you to follow it it's and as you can see I am already following this page because right here it says follow so if you haven't followed it yet it's just gonna say follow so please click and follow it and for any reason if you want to unfollow a page if you hover over it you can see that you have the option to unfollow so if you want to unfollow this page you can just click unfollow and you and you won't be following this page from then on but um, I'm not going to do that okay so after you've done that I'm going to move on and talk about the second functionality which is the at symbol so the at symbol as you can see up here this is the display name CCHL BC Lower Mainland but at CCHL underscore BCLM is the actual um, uh, account identifier and you would use that at symbol when you want to address a particular tweet to this uh, to to this page or this account, or you want to directly send a message to CCHL BCLM or to whoever. So, for example, say Paul. If I just type type a tweet and just use this name, it's not going to work. Paul will not get notified. But rather, we have to use. His unique identifier, which is at healthworksbc. So, for instance, if I compose a tweet to Paul, see at healthworks. So Twitter is so smart that it 
it can guess who I'm trying to talk to. So as you can see, instead of Paul Gallant C H E M H K, I'm sending a tweet to at HealthWorks BC, and then say, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the the training video. So if I click tweet, this message is going to show up on my Twitter page as well as Paul's Twitter page and he will be notified that that David Coe has sent out a tweet and in the tweet his name or his account is um, referenced. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that at this moment. The third option is this pound sign or the hashtag. And as you can see, there is there are there are quite a lot, a lot of um hash or a, quite a lot of um uh words that are hashtagged. For example, at CCHL leaders, uh, at CDN Health, at Vancouver, and on and on. So what this pound sign or this hashtag means is just a way t for people to search or excuse me for for um, uh, for this word to be searchable so for instance if, if I type in at Vancouver and search I will be prompt to a page of search results for hashtag Vancouver. So any people's tweets in the, in the entire world, you don't need to be following them, they don't need to be following you. As long as their tweets have pound or hashtag Vancouver, it will show up. So as you can see, Vancouver Police has a message or a tweet, and then within that tweet, there's uh, the word Vancouver that is hashtagged and and as you can see something just popped up there's 20 new tweets happened in the past five seconds with the word hashtag Vancouver so the hashtag is just a way to uh, make a word easily searchable and they could be about anything Vancouver spread the world huge Vancouver And I hope you get the idea. So if you go back, so to, so so if you go back to home, yeah, I just like to go back to home, and um, and to show you another option of uh, replying. So for example, if say BD Biosciences has um, an event or they're attending an, an event on May 37th and I would like to um, broadcast that on their behalf I can choose to retweet it so what that does is this exact same message will appear on my account so whoever are following me will be able to see this exact same message on my account. So some people might not be following BD Biosciences, but then since I retweeted their message, those who are not following BD Biosciences now will at least see that they have a website or they have a Twitter site and that they're going to this immunology 2013 event. So simply I click, click retweet and then Twitter is going to ask me whether I'm sure that I want to tweet um, or retweet this message so I, I can hit um, retweet and if I go back to me there you go I have submitted a new tweet Rem remember I had nine tweets at the beginning of this video now I have ten tweets and 
that's because I've retweeted BD Biosciences message. And as you can see, I can't alter the content of this message because I didn't write this message. And another function that is very useful, but in a way is the same as uh, sending a message using the at sign, is to reply. And as you can see, I want to reply to BD Biosciences about their uh, their attendance to this or at this um, immunology 2013. So I hit reply, and immediately I have this message box. This box is exactly the same as this box right here. I'm sending out a tweet, but I'm re but instead I'm replying to to BD Biosciences. And whatever message that I type here, and if, if I hit tweet, this message will just show up on BD Biosciences Twitter page and my page, and it will be open to public. So people who are following BD Biosciences and myself will be able to see this message. So be really careful. And remember that by replying a tweet, you're not privately sending a reply. You're sending a public reply. So you might ask, well, if I want to um, send a pub or send a private message, how can I do that? You can go to here and click direct messages, and you can hit new message and you can type BD. oops I forget their name BD Biosciences at BD Biosciences and as you can see, it doesn't automatically search it for me. So, for example, if if I hit if I click Paul, it searches it for me. The reason for that is I am following Paul, and Paul is following me. And you can only send direct messages between people who are following each other. So even though I am following BD but BD is not following me so that's why that's why I cannot send BD a direct message so that is one that, that is actually a great feature of direct messages because you don't want random people to send you private message or direct message um, because you don't know them Okay, and I believe that sums up quite a lot of um, important features of Twitter, um, and I hope that was uh, not too difficult to understand. I and if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact myself, Susan, or Patrick. Will be more than happy to help you and teach you um, f more functionalities of Twitter. And lastly, please remember to sign out. Thank you very much.